I can't remember the first time I, I was thinking about uh, this idea, but it had to do with a communion service that I was preparing for. It was around Easter time. And I read this phrase somewhere that said something about death dying. I thought, what, a, what an interesting concept. Because we're all, as, as Christians, that's a powerful thing to, to think how that death has lost its sting. You know, we, the grave has lost its victory. We know that phrase. But I had this, this, these couple of lines where it said, with this cup, with this bread, we proclaim your death. The cross was raised and evil fell. Death has died and all is well. And I went from that to this, this theme throughout the Bible of tragedy that becomes a moment of glory whether it was Adam and Eve in the fall and the darkness of that, but then to say, if you look long term, you see how that God had a plan in that and that there will come one who will crush the serpent's head and all is well. So it's like throughout the Bible, there are these, these moments where it looks like it's all over. Uh, the lady singing, it's the end. And then God steps up to say, no, I've got one more move. And, and in, in the case of, of death and resurrection of Jesus, that is, that is the move of all moves when he says, no, death has died, all is well. So it's a, it's a worship song, and I, I hope that people will be, um, maybe, maybe think about it for, whether it's for communion, or it's a time of, of intimate worship, that maybe the churches will sing. That's my hope. Oh, yeah.